Hey guys, this is Aegon Games 69, and we are about to, we're gonna review some Goku Basura Samurai Heroes Yuki Yukimura Sanada from the, the and we're gonna review the character Yukimura Sanada first. Then we're just gonna go down the line because that was the first character I played, so that's the character we're gonna first I'm gonna first review. And I just beat the story for the most part. I got 45% of the way. But I beat it first one time, and I like it. I like him enough. His he runs really funny. I don't know. It's goof. He runs way really weird. I don't know. But I mean, aside from that, his moves are pretty cool. He has a really strong like offensive more so, and his defense really speaks so. But he's kind of like that more fast, heavy hitter. More like he's like a fiery kind of guy. So most times those guys don't have the best defense. But, yeah, his moves, you, like, at least from what I saw from him, like, you could stream moves together pretty fast and easily, and it wasn't too bad. Like, you only got a few moves, but I think they were cool for what you got. You got some cool-looking moves, and you got them pretty early on, so you got, like, to use a lot of your cool moves early on. You didn't have to wait till you are like, a high level to use the, you know, the cool moves. So that's cool. And I'm sure that's how it'll be with the other ones, but... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think he yelled a bit too much. I think it's like he was just needed to take a chill pill. He seemed like oh, he was always yelling. I don't know. Kind of weirded me out. He kind of looked a bit silly too. I don't think I don't know. This whole Sengoku thing right now. This game is like everybody looks goofy. Like he wears like a jacket of sorts. I'm like, you would not find that jacket in Japan. But whatever. We won't judge. He still has some cool moves. And it's kind of cool, like, I get to branch off, like, when you, not in the battle, but, like, in kind of, like, the pre-game menu, you have, like, sometimes you'll have multiple choices of what, who you want to attack, and that's kind of cool because it kind of gives you choices, and then you can go back and do it again, but then choose the different, uh, person to attack, and that's always cool because that adds new playability and choices and all that good stuff so that's fun and I mean the enemies you know a lot of the time it's just like can you know cannon fodder as they say it was just they're just they kind of just are there and I don't really do anything like only real challenges when you face bosses those are the guys who give you the most challenge but even then like it's not that complicated of a game it's really simple it's really the moves look cool and stylish, as they, they've said on other reviews, but, you know. And then they say, you know, there's lots of repetitiveness. I don't know, I like it. It's nice, I'm not trying to like, you know, there's not a lot to it so far. You can only really play story mode and free play mode. Which, you know, could be kind of lame. But, eh, I'll get over it. It's not, I mean, the story's pretty cool, and... I and mean, there's actually a lot to do in this game. You can do a lot, like, each character can have all, you can, like, create a, you can have your weapon, and there's multiple versions of the weapon, and then you can put a, uh, abilities on it, and you can, like, soup it up and everything, and you soup your guy up, and it's all sorts of crazy. It's cool, though. I like it. I don't know, I, sometimes I feel like, even though I'm souping up my guy, it still seems to take just as long as it did when I was a level one always gets me in games when it's like, I feel like you're just, you never seem to like, be able to just dominate, you know, really sometimes you get to see, feel like you're progressing as much as you should be, as much as the game's leading you on to be, you don't feel like you're leveling up like you are, but maybe that's, I don't know, maybe the enemies are getting stronger, I mean, I, the, I mean, as I level up, maybe like, they level up kind of thing, I don't know, but, yeah, that's my thoughts on him. A cool character. Yukimura always was pretty cool in the other Samurai Warriors, the Samurai Warrior games. I liked him enough. Especially in 2. 2, he was really cool. But, anyways, um, alright. Well, this is Aegon Games signing off. See ya.